Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about the electrical key transmitter. Electrical key transmitter is used for the purpose of controlling a signal apparatus such as points, LC gates and signals etc. by station master by retaining key of the controlled apparatus which is normally locked and issuing the same key for releasing the apparatus when required. That means uh, this electrical key transmitter is used for operating the points. For example, if there is a problem arises in the point, then the station master will release the electrical key transmitter from his control and handing over to the other person who is going to the field and there he can operate the point manually. That means the electrical operation has been suspended and mechanical operation has been retained. So like that LC gates, level crossing gates also, signals also sometimes can be operated by means of electrical key transfer. It is very, very, very important. So that is the reason which is normally locked. So that is the reason this will be in the normally, it is in the locked condition. Under this system, the working of fixed equipment is locked by means of mechanical key, which is electrically locked in the EKT. You please see, under this system, the working of fixed equipment, that means fixed equipment means point, LC gates, signals, these are all comes under the fixed equipment, he is locked by means of mechanical key, which is electrically locked in the EKT. So, then operate it on key, man mechanical key word thamu. So, to operate the fixed equipment like points, LC gates and signals, that instrument the key is locked mechanically it is in condition and it is locked in the EKT electrically. So for extracting the key from the EKT please see the operation here we are discussing about the operation here we are discussing about the operation for extracting the key from the EKT electrical key transmitter a pair of EKTs is required to be connected in series that means two EKTs are in seriously connected two EKTs are seriously connected and one at the function end that means one at the field that means nearby point or nearby LC gate or nearby signals and another at the controlling end that means it it is with station master or some other controlling person other controlling person, and requires physical cooperation from both end operators if you see to operate the EKTs one one person one man army is not there so, it should be operated by means of two persons. That means mutual cooperation is required to extract the EKT, extract the key, not EKT, from EKT. To extract the e key from the EKT, mutual cooperation between the end operator as well as the controlling person is required. So, that is the meaning of the this I mean, <coughs> paragraph. And coming to the EKT keys are so designed. So, if please see how the EKT keys has been designed, we are discussing, that means it is describing. The EKT keys are so designed that they enter only the instrument meant for the specific key and cannot enter any other instrument of its kind. Just like our home keys or shop keys, the same pattern, one key cannot be entered into the another lock, one key we can't open one lock with another another lock that is the pattern normally we are using in our house also the same thing happens here also so one ekt key cannot be inserted cannot be inserted in the other equipment so that is the interlocking between these two that is the protection to protect the equipments from another other operation or other point operation should not be done with the other other equipment other EKTs so that, that should be taken care by the design of the keys only design of the key the EKTs keys are provided with the provision of ceiling so these EKT keys are provided with provision of ceiling that means these EKT keys always will be under the protection that means ceiling operation so, so once the seal has been broken then only the EKT can be EKT key can be taken out to go and operate the point LC gate or some other equipment. So once the seal has been broken means it should be recorded, it should be recorded in a 
register. It should be recorded in the register. Almost all, it should be recorded in the counter also. There will be, they will provide one counter which can count, which can count 1, 2, 3 like that, which can count 1, 2, 3 like that. So, that should be recorded. Why it has been opened? When it has been opened? Date, time, purpose of the EKT extraction. Purpose of the EKT. When it has been extracted, purpose, why, why it is advocated. For example, LC gate failed, LC gate electrical operation failed. Then the EKT can be, the key, EKT key can be taken out by means of breaking the seal and then only the LC gate can be operated ma manually. Then they should be recorded in the register stating that due to so and so reason electrical operation has been failed so that we are using the, I am using the key to operate the LC gate to facilitate to enter the, I mean to allow the trains to pass or to allow the passengers road traffic to be carried out. So, that is the main purpose. So, that is the reason these things have been. If you observe the, if you observe the circuit, you please see these two keys, these two EKTs, electrical key transmitters are connected, are so designed, are so connected in series, in series. So, in one it is in and another one it is out, key in, key out. We will call it as a key in and key out. Here, we are using earth as a conductor, earth as one conductor and another one, one conductor is by live wire or positive wire, I mean positive or negative, whatever the things may be. So, basing on that, here, here you are using only single wire transmission, single wire transmission and written current through earth, written current through earth. You can observe, you can observe by means of, you can understand by means of, you please see from the leftmost left, this electrical key transmitter, this electrical key transmitter, electrical parameters are, electrical parameters are resistance of coil, that means individual coils, please, please remember, individual EKT coil resistance is 12.5 ohms to 15 ohms, 12.5 ohms to 15 ohms, rated voltage is, rated voltage is 12 volts DC, 12 volts DC, plus or minus, just 12 volts DC and working current is 150 milliamps to 200 milliamperes, 150 milliamps to 200 milliamps. So, the minimum voltage required to operate, the minimum voltage required to operate the EKT at any cost is 6 volts DC. That, should, that means, if the voltage falls below 6 volts, 5.9 volts or something else, it won't be operated, it won't be operated. So, the required, minimum required voltage is 12 volts DC and the maximum permitted voltage is 12 volts DC. So, 6 volts DC between the, the voltage, end voltage should be, and that means the voltage across the coils, the voltage across the coils should not be less than 6 volts, should not be less than 6 volts. It may be plus or minus 12 volts DC maximum, may be plus or minus 12 volts DC maximum. So, basing on the voltage, the working current varies from 150 milliamperes to 200 milliamperes. Suppose if the battery is getting down, then the voltage may fall down to 10 volts, 11 volts, 9 volts like that. So, basing on the voltage, the current varies. So, that is the purpose, that is the reason we are mentioning the working current is 150 milliamperes to 200 milliamperes. But whereas the voltage, maximum voltage should not be more than 12 volts DC as well as minimum voltage should not be less than 4, 6 volts DC. Now, video is going to be to subscribe, like, share, 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 bell icon press share, 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 share,